All right, first things first, I'm gonna come to the back and make sure both of the ball valves are closed. This way you can power up the machine without worry about your air motor cycling and building up pressure in your ratio sleeves. I'm gonna fire it up. And for this video, I've already taken off the shoulder bolts on my linkage arm, and the way you do that is there's a little 832 set screw in the back, and then you take out the shoulder bolt underneath. And be careful on your shoulder bolts. You make sure, see there are two different links. The short one goes on the base side and they're not inter interchangeable. So make sure you keep those separated. So when you first take them off, you're gonna have your cylinder in one direction, manually switch it to the other direction and then grab your adjustable wrench. And I'm gonna manually move these over to the other side and you'll feel them click into place. There, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the base side. Now I'm gonna to try to time it. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to put this bolt through my eye and into the hole finger tight. But right now, if you look at it from the front here, you can see that it's coming in at an angle and it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to thread it in like that. I'm gonna use the open end wrench 9 16 to loosen this locking nut right here. And that'll, I'll do that on both sides. That's gonna allow that's gonna allow that eye bolt to be adjusted. So like I said, it's coming in here at an angle. So I can adjust my eye bolt, give it a couple turns. Let's see if I can get it. It's getting really close and give it another half turn. Almost got it. You can tell it's still kind of tight there. So I need my wrist to get it out. And get it one more half turn. All right. I'm able to get that in finger tight. Now I'm going to go over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I've got both of them in there. So I got to do the same thing on the other side, but before I do that, I'm just going to finger tighten this 9 16th right here. And this this nut so that my eye bolt doesn't move on me when I take it back apart. I'm gonna take it back, take my bolts, my shoulder bolts back out, and I'm gonna switch it in the other direction and just check and make sure that it's, it's, it's timed in the other direction as well. Hit my button valve. My adjustable wrench. We should mate right up. And you'll notice that one was off by half a turn. That's okay. If it's off by half a turn or a turn, that's not a huge deal. Um, if it's off by a turn, I like to split the difference. Um, but if, if, you're, if your timing is off, if it's perfect on one side and then you switch to the other side and you're off by um, more, than, more than a turn, two turns maybe, that means you probably have something might be seizing up inside your material valve or inside of this. But if you're off by a turn, split the difference. So at this point I'm done. I'm gonna lock, make sure you tighten these back in pretty tight so they don't drop out. And then so I'm gonna bring my adjustable wrench 916 back. 
make sure I tighten that nut so that we don't have any movement. Hopefully we don't have to adjust it again. Do that on both sides. Usually I do it on one side and then I'll switch it to gain access. Finally, tighten up little set screws in the back. Then switch it to gain access. And that's how you time the material valves on your Big Bear.